Well, first of all, um, getting to the NCAA tournament is a great privilege, and it's one that I and we are very appreciative of. Um, UNC Pembroke was fantastic, and Lincoln Memorial has a great team. I could not be more proud of our guys. Um, loved our team, had a blast coaching them. They gave us so much heart, um, focus, energy, effort. We played so well tonight, um, well enough to win, and we didn't. And um, you know, we're, we're just going to be appreciative of the moment and allow it to fuel us to try to get better. Me personally, as a coach, and and our program. But I'm so thankful to our entire program, coaches, and especially to this guy. I'm just so thankful to have him as a representation for who we are as a program. Shake, what happened? Um, the big strong guy down there, he uh, had the ball, and I knew he, I knew he was about to go middle, and I just tried to make a play on the ball with my right, um, with my right arm, and um, and I, and I, my arm just got got caught in there, and as he was going up, it, I just felt it pop out, and um, it wasn't really painful, but I was just scared because it was locked, it was locked out, and it wasn't moving, it was just locked in, and um, I went out, and um, once it got back in, once it popped back in, um, I felt like it was strong enough for me to be able to contribute and be able to do what I wanted to do out there. I didn't think I could shoot the ball, but I thought I could be able to um, still make plays and um, it was strong enough for me to do a couple of things to help my team. And um, the second time it, it came out um, and I was just closing out. It was no, it was no contact or anything like that. It just, I just jumped and I raised my um, left arm actually and it just came out and I, and it sucked, but I knew it was over and I knew I couldn't, um, I couldn't play. First time you were talking about was when you went behind the bench and dribbled and got a ball out of the rack. It seemed like you, I, know, I knew you were making a fist when you came back in, but that's when you were talking about. Um, the first time when I came out and dribbled and I and I, I just tried to pound it as hard as I could and um, it wasn't really giving me a pain. It, I just knew it was a little sore, but it wasn't giving me like a sharp pain or anything like that. And um, that's when I knew I could go back in. And that's when I um, immediately tried to get in as fast as I can. And um, the second time, I just um, had to think about my safety and um, safety of my shoulder. And I just um, and I just knew I just want, I just had to um, just support my team from the bench for the rest of the game. Coach, how tough was that to see that in that way? It, it was it was hard. Um, my my heart broke for him. Um, you know, I, I want anytime you're competing. To win as a coach or a player, you're you're competing for your team, you're competing for your coaches, and you're competing for yourself. You know we're all competitors, and in that moment, nothing else mattered. I just felt bad for him. Um, he he the last three weeks of the year, he went to another level and just led and so much maturity and heart. And today, like he he was just amazing, and I was just so inspired by his play. And overwhelmed, and and then when he got hurt, I just I felt bad for him, and then he came back in and was amazing again, and then it came out, and I felt even worse for him, um, you know, because he was playing with, he was doing it the right way, he was just laying it out on the line, and that's what I asked all of them to do, for the last three weeks. I said, you know, basketball is a very painful sport because you never know when your last game is, and I just kept telling them make somebody be better than us. If they're going to beat us, make sure we are doing everything we can emotionally, physically, mentally, and that's what he was doing. And so I just felt bad for him. You know, you've seen him do some great things in the last four years, but the way, and, and even yesterday, but today must have been, even had you uh, kind of shaking your head. It does, it, yes, because he, he's always been very gifted physically, you know, the things he does on defense and the things he does on offense. The last three weeks, I saw maturity, a leadership, a grown man competing for his team and leading his team that I had never seen before. And he did it in the conference championship last week, and, and he, he's just done it so many times the last three weeks. And, and it, it really touched me. It, it moved me. It, um, I, it was amazing. Uh, their defense um, made it tough for Sean, though. So Shaq was having to do a lot of Know, improvising on his own. You talk about, you know, Sean, the kind of the yes. frustration he must have had. Yes, and, and, and they were fantastic. I thought it was a really good move for them to put the length on him, 35. That was strategically, that was a very good move. 
Um, having said that, Sean missed a lot of shots that he normally makes. Um, and, you know, I, I don't know if it's because of the back-to-back. -back. Sean's been phenomenal all year long. And I told him the first game of the year he struggled from the field. And I, said, I told him, I will lose with you taking good shots every day. And I felt the same way today. I thought he played very well. Um, he missed a lot of shots that he normally makes. And they did like, some good things on him to make it difficult. Um, so I would definitely want to give credit to them. Um, but I, I thought he played well. I was wondering about your confidence the longer the game went on. You, know, you never let them get ahead, and you were with them you know, right there in the half, too. Confidence must have been growing all during the game. It was really high, and, and just to be honest, I don't know how, you know, in a 10 game series, if we're better than them, uh, I, I don't feel like we lose if he stays in the game. Just the way the game was going, we were in total control. We were getting great shots. We made an adjustment at halftime. Uh, we were ball screening over and over and over to get their bigs away from the basket. Um, if he don't go out of the game, I, I just don't think we lose. Can you talk about that, Shaq, just the confidence level you know, during the game? Um, yes, you know, um, we. I'm just proud of the way the way our team competed, and um, and I knew um, pretty halfway through the first half, I, I thought like we we're good enough to beat the team. I, well, you know, I knew there was a great team, and I knew it wasn't over by any means, and they could they could still win. But I I felt very very confident about um about what we were doing, and um. Yeah, you, know, you know, I just um, wish that I could be, out, I could have been out there with the team to try to close, try to close the deal, and um, not to make any excuses. They're a great team, and um, you know, they did a lot of things that that really hurt us and that really, um, you know, gave us problems. But um, I felt that we were playing well. I felt, I felt like had to figure out offensively on how we were going to score, and um, and we were rebounding very well. So um, I just. I just thought that we were in a good position to try to close the deal. And um, congratulations to Lincoln Memorial. Right. They, they played a great game. They and, did. Um, and uh, Perry had a load to handle down there. You talk about you guys did pretty well against him. You talk about that and also what Kane was able to do for you guys. Yes, um, I'll talk about Poppy first. Poppy. Uh, is so versatile, 6'8", long, athletic, and has a high IQ, especially on the defensive end, but even offensively with his movement. He, he is very disruptive, and uh, he played great. He's played great for us all year. Um, he has been a huge part of our success, and I thought he did, had another really good game today. Um, Chris Perry was good at South Florida. You know, he was getting 12-5 and five at South Florida. He is amazing. He is enormous body, and you know in basketball it's one thing to have the body; it's another thing to know how to use your body. He knows how to use his body, and he is incredibly skilled, soft touch, and he don't. You know, big guys sometimes they want to play outside and shoot 15 footers and get baited into that. He don't get baited into that at all. He knows his game, um, and 33 as well. He, the, both of them really know their identity and, and that is a tribute to them and their coach um, but he he is amazing and and I wasn't as frustrated I didn't know how to guard him I didn't know how to guard him um, I knew we couldn't leave their shooters so we were just going to keep fouling them and um, you know it, that that post play is so confusing to me anyway still and I know it's a very difficult thing to officiate um, so we were just doing our best to stay in front and guard without fouling but he is fantastic but I thought Don did a great job Poppy did a great job and Jerry did a really good job. Uh, Coach could you talk a little bit about uh, Donovan Harris grabbing his fourth foul uh, with 13 minutes left in the game what did that uh how did uh, that affect you guys? Yeah, uh, and, and Don didn't get to play much in this tournament. Um, Don, Don fouled a lot. I, I felt terrible for him, too, because, you know, he, it looked helpless. He looked helpless because he didn't really know what to do either. Um, but, yeah, it, it was a big deal because Don's 6'7", 235, great athlete. He's our guy to throw at their guys. Um, and so picking up four fouls, and, and a couple of them were – Chippy, I, I didn't, I didn't know. I was like, wow, boy, if we want to foul him, let's really foul him. Um, so it was, it was a big deal. It was a really big deal, um, just because Don has been battle tested. You know, he came from a great JUCO at Georgia Highlands, so he's played at a really high level. So you know, he, he, it, it was a big deal. Shaq, um, you probably had a great career at Limestone. If you could summarize your career. 
I know, I know, I know it's coming to an end. I know it's, it's tough right now. Um, <clears throat> I've just had an amazing experience playing with this guy for the last four years, and I've been here for five. So um, um, he's been like a father to me. I mean, we we've been through the we've been up, we've been down, very all the way down, and um, I'm glad me and him was able to end on top, and especially in our conference. And um, you know, and one thing that I'm just kind of happy about is that I don't get to leave with any regrets you know I got to um I got to make history my senior year um I got to you know get an amazing team uh, um a complete team for my senior year and I know a lot of people don't get to do that and um you know as a total career here man I just felt like it was the perfect place for me to go and just to grow as a person and as a basketball player I felt like it was a perfect um, system for me, and um, I felt like it really helped me thrive in um, basketball and in life. And I'm so appreciative of him because his first year um, he sat out, we were good. His first year as a plane, we were good. And and he um, professionally, I went through a lot um, for a year and a half where I wasn't a very good coach, and um, he stuck with me. And that meant a whole, whole, whole lot to me. And I am very appreciative to him for sticking with me and um, fighting with me. And I'm, I'm very appreciative to him and his family.